This is a work of political and social commentary. The content of this video is not meant for children under the age of 13. Parental discretion is advised. In the city of Wuhan in Hubei Province, China, there is a world-famous wholesale seafood market called Huanan. The market covers over 12 and a half acres along the Fajan Road. What makes it remarkable is not its size, nor that it sells youwei, the Chinese term for bush meat. China has many such markets in many such cities. No, what makes it remarkable is that it is the epicenter of the Wuhan coronavirus outbreak, which has killed over a hundred and infected thousands. An outbreak of a new deadly virus with potentially deadly consequences is certainly news. With this outbreak, though, has come some serious fears about a worldwide epidemic. Those fears have hit the global markets pretty hard, too, over the weekend. And that means that it's time for some roasted opinions. By now, anyone who is digging into the 2019 NCOV Wuhan coronavirus outbreak knows that this virus has a lot in common with SARS and MERS, which are also coronaviruses. Coronaviruses have a predilection for causing severe respiratory infections, including pneumonia. SARS killed 835 people in 2001 to 2003. MERS killed 513 people between 2012 and 2015. What makes these viruses scary is that they are capable of zoonosis, the transmission of the disease between animal species. All three of these coronaviruses have been traced back to bats, although they have jumped species before they reached humans in at least two cases. MERS infected camels and SARS infected civets. There is some preliminary research that indicates that the Wuhan virus may be using snakes as an intermediate reservoir. There are other coronaviruses which have caused much milder infections similar to the common cold. They also have origins in bats, a common reservoir for coronaviruses. What makes these diseases more dangerous is that once they jump to humans, coronaviruses have typically developed aerosol transmission. That means that coughing and sneezing are all that the virus needs to be passed. Couple that with the outbreak occurring in a city of more than 11 million people during a significant travel increase due to the Chinese New Year, and this could prove quite dangerous for the whole world. You see, Wuhan is a travel and transportation hub. It contains one of the four key railway hubs in China, the Port of Wuhan, which handles over 42 million tons of cargo annually, and the Wuhan Tianhe International Airport, which serves more than 20 million passengers annually. All three of these are now closed, along with all public transportation in Wuhan and Hubei, in an effort to contain the spread of the virus, which has now been confirmed in over a dozen other countries. Containment may take some time, though, because this particular virus has an incubation period of about two weeks. The outbreak is severe enough that China is building new hospitals on an emergency basis. Using prefabricated construction and massive crews, they intend to have thousands of new hospital beds in Wuhan by February 5th. A truly astonishing feat considering the fact that those hospitals will have been begun less than 10 days prior to that. Even that amazing achievement merely sparks fears about how severe this outbreak could prove to be. Quarantines are only effective if they can get ahead of the spread of the virus. And with the confirmation of infections in people who have traveled to Wuhan and then to other countries without showing any symptoms, we simply don't know how far the virus may have spread. That fear has already had a negative impact on companies associated with Wuhan and on the travel and transportation industries. Couple that with China's run of bad luck in 2019 with the trade war and the African swine fever outbreak, and investors are starting to dump stocks for safer investments. Monday in particular was quite bad for the global markets. Now that has sparked even more fears of recession. And that's what this is. Fear. Fear is driving all of the market response. Legitimate concerns about the spread of a dangerous virus are one thing, but dumping stocks because of an outbreak is a little over the top. While China has made some serious mistakes in handling this outbreak locally, including a delay in shutting down transportation hubs and actively encouraging public events despite the risks of infection, the fundamental soundness of Chinese companies in general has not been seriously affected. The people of Wuhan will continue to need goods and services 
and I'm sure that there will be a surge of purchasing when the quarantines are lifted and businesses seek to replenish their stocks of basic goods. There isn't a need to rush to reinvest in safe havens like bonds or precious metals. Calm down, everybody. What does need to be addressed is what is largely being ignored, the fact that Huanan Seafood Wholesale Market and other omnivorous markets all over China are selling yo wei, including bats, and that these markets are wet markets. Wet markets service the local desire for both common and exotic meats, including yo wei, and they often feature animals being butchered immediately before sale on site. The live animals and their wastes mingle with the blood and fluids from slaughtered animals, providing an ideal environment for a cross-species agile virus to incubate and spread. Freshness is a near-obsessive desire for some Chinese foodies, which is how huge wet markets like Huanan developed and why they thrive. Similar markets exist in other places of the world, and as in China, the risks of food contamination and the spread of zoonotic viruses is much higher there. So long as wet markets exist as they are, the risk of similar outbreaks will continue. But China is responding. They have temporarily banned trade in Yo Wei because of the outbreak and closed the Huanan market. I know that it's a hard blow to the people who make a living from this trade, but this has to be the first step, because we honestly don't know how long the outbreak will spread before it's contained. And after both SARS and Wuhan pneumonia, which are both associated with wet markets, changes have to be made to ensure both food safety and the permanent end of Yo Wei consumption. China is an economic powerhouse with strong growth and a rapidly rising standard of living. Yo Wei is a luxury which the world simply cannot afford any longer.